Hello friends, welcome to Lug Life. We have spent the last couple of days in the Little Havana neighborhood of Miami. And you guys, we have absolutely loved it. In fact, we've loved it so much that we wanted to make this video sharing with you some of our favorite food experiences that we've had. We feel that food is one of the best ways to experience culture. And definitely with this trip, it has been no different. So you guys, we are no experts in this. However, <laughs> the friends that we have been traveling with are, they are Cuban, they've kind of been our tour guides, they've been showing us some of their favorite restaurants from growing up in this neighborhood. And I've gotta say, they have hit it out of the park. Everything yeah. that we've eaten has been spectacular. So these are in no particular order, but these are just some of the things that we have had that we thought were unbelievable, and we think that if you are visiting Little Havana in Miami, you have to try. Number one, we're gonna start off with the Cuban sandwich. Obviously, the, probably the most iconic of all Cuban foods, right? You can find it all over the place. We see signs basically at every restaurant every advertising Every restaurant theirs. here has the best Cuban sandwich. <laughs> that is true. It's like <laughs> the world's best Cuban sandwich in 50 <laughs> different restaurants. Mm -hmm. However, the place that we went to it's so amazing. In fact, we're putting it number one on our list, and I've got to say, it was my favorite thing we had. In fact, it was so good, we actually went back today and got another one that I have right here. <laughs> it is at a place here in Little Havana called Cerusi's. It's amazing. So good. Go inside. You can order it either in eight inches or 16 inches. Uh, also, we did notice that Man vs. Food filmed an episode there, and you can get it basically double meat, double the size. <laughs> it is huge. Yeah. Everything about the sandwich was perfect. Yeah, everything from the Cuban bread that it's on to the special sauce, is it's all just perfect. Absolutely, it's, there's nothing about the sandwich I would change. And when we picked it up today, it also came in a Cuban bread bag, so that's coming home with us for sure. <laughs> so next we're gonna go to the frita. It's basically like a hamburger, but it's made with a chorizo patty. And then on top of it, it has, at least the one we had, uh, ketchup and then like really, really thin shoestring style potatoes. Mm -hmm. um, the taste was amazing. It was so good. First of all, I love chorizo. It was delicious. Mm -hmm. uh, not spicy. No, not spicy at all. I told Ida and Desi were with, it was one of those tastes that like I can tell I'm gonna crave that specific <laughs> thing. It was it was really so, good. so good. And the place that we went was called Frita Domino, and it's been around since like the 1960s, I think their sign said. It was so, so good, totally so good. unassuming, which mm -hmm. most of the best food comes from, right? Yeah, you walk- a hole in the wall. Definitely, place. like a little old couple kind of running the place, and it was just delicious and amazing. And I, it was a pretty good size, probably like this size, good size, but a pretty typical hamburger. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it was about $5 or so, so I thought it was a great price mm -hmm. and absolutely delicious. Next, we're gonna talk about a place called Versailles. It bills itself as the most famous Cuban restaurant in the world, and it definitely is. You know, before we came down here, as I was looking online at restaurants I wanted to try and places to go, this place kept coming up basically on every <laughs> list. In fact, I saw one person said, can you even say that you've gone to Miami if you haven't eaten at Versailles? And it definitely seemed that way. We went there at like 8.30 for dinner mm -hmm. and it was still super, super busy. Mm -hmm. We didn't have to wait, we were able to get right in. Uh, but we've now been there twice, right? Mm -hmm. We went for we dinner went for last dinner night. And then breakfast this morning. That's right, and so we'll kind of tell you what both of those experiences were like. So for dinner last night, I got the skirt steak. I think it was called the Churrasco Versailles. I'm probably mispronouncing that. Um, but it was skirt steak and it had a chimichurri over it. It was amazing. And I got two pieces, like two actually like good sized pieces. And it came with rice and beans as well as plantains. Uh, mm -hmm. I went with like a, a real thin pounded steak that was then breaded and it had like marinara on top with mozzarella. Uh, it was, was not better than mine. <laughs> mine was good. It also came with the rice and beans and the plantains. I definitely thought mine was better. You thought yours was I better. Mine was so good. Both of them were amazing value. I think mine was like twelve or thirteen dollars. Yours was I think like eighteen ninety five. But, but again, for two it steaks, was two big pieces of steak, and then and for, rice and beans and plantains. Yeah, and so we definitely did not leave hungry for mm. sure. Uh, and then before the meal, they bring you out a basket of Cuban bread. Now some bread is just like a filler, and it's like okay, I had a roll. This was amazing. This was so good. It was like smothered in butter and garlic, and it's like Cuban bread, which is sort of crunchy on the outside and like like spongy almost on the ends, it's perfect. 
and so much butter <laughs> that like in the bottom of the basket, there's just like a layer of delicious, delicious like butter. butter yeah. It was so, so good. And then after dinner, uh, we did get a couple of desserts. I got the coconut flan. I love coconut, love flan. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. And I got the creme brulee and pound cake and it was literally just a piece of pound cake with the creme brulee over it and the caramelized sugar on top. It was so good. It was good. Also, Sherry's dessert was huge. It was, like I needed a lot of help to eat it. <laughs> I think we're used to like creme brulee's just kind of in like a, you know, little individual ramekin. It was, it was this big. Yeah, it was a big it was one. The size of my face. Uh, so the dinner experience was great, but then dinner actually ended the food and then around the restaurant came this amazing group of guys in with guitars and instruments and yeah. playing and singing. <laughs> It was just like such a fun way to end yeah. dinner at Versailles. So I've got to say it definitely lived up to the hype. I went in with pretty high expectations because again, like I said earlier, it's the one restaurant that I heard over and over and over <laughs> and I would definitely go back to it. Sherry, would you? Absolutely. So, yeah. let, so let's talk about breakfast because we went for mm -hmm. breakfast this morning. One thing that we have learned is that uh, the Cuban coffee is huge. You guys know us and our coffee. I have been loving it. It's so good. It's so sweet and it's and not it's like- it's so small. It's so small. Sherry's so used to like- strong. You're used to like a 20 ounce Americana, right? It's like a, a carafe of well, coffee. 16. And this yeah. is like a thimble of deliciousness, right? It's like, that's the difference, but mm -hmm. it's been really fun. So we went there, got that this morning, and then we got just like a whole assortment of pastries and treats. Everything from like a guava cream cheese. Uh, it was kind of like a flaky pastry. And then we also had like ham croquettes. It's uh, think of like the shape of like a mozzarella stick, mm -hmm. right? The shape and size, except inside is just this like delicious, delicious filling. And then we also had these uh, meat pastelitos, which are like just again, little round meat pastries. filled pastries. Mm -hmm. So delicious. So, uh, so I've got to say our experience at breakfast and dinner at Versailles, mm -hmm. spectacular. So yes. definitely would recommend checking that place out. And finally, another thing that is kind of unique here, I have not seen it pretty much anywhere we've ever traveled, are the food stalls and the food windows around Little Havana. So you're used to seeing like storefront restaurants, right? You walk in, you get a table, you eat. Uh, they obviously have those here, but one thing that's kind of cool is that there's a lot of times a window that's open or sometimes even just a window. There's not even like inside seating mm -hmm. areas. You walk up and you can order whatever they're offering. Maybe it's a Cuban sandwich, maybe it's croquettes, maybe it is just like coffee, whatever it is, you can just walk up and get it. So I would say that if you're in Little Havana, that is something that is unique to the area. Definitely, definitely take time to do that. And the last tip that I'd give if you are visiting Little Havana, maybe you're not used to Cuban food, maybe you've never had Cuban food, uh, take a chance, right? Like yeah. it's different than what you've had before. It's so unique, it's absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. There's not been anything that we've eaten over the last couple of days no. that we have not truly loved. And so maybe it's not what you're used to ordering at a restaurant. Uh, maybe it's not used to, you know, the kind of things you're used to seeing on a menu. Take a chance, try something new. I think you'll be like us where you absolutely are not disappointed. <laughs> you love it. It's a fun memory that you will take with you. And again, that's what traveling is all about. It's about making memories uh, that you take with you throughout life. So we have loved our time in Little Havana. Yeah. It's a place that I'm glad we got to come to, glad we got to come to with friends. Most importantly, I'm glad that I have one more of these sandwiches. <laughs> I'm not gonna share it with Sherry at all. He is. It is completely mine. Mm -hmm. Stay away from my Cuban sandwich. I'm gonna eat it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next Leg Life video. Mm -hmm.